Hey guys, welcome back to the SCT workshop. We're up to the next stage of the SCT 200 build. So pretty much what we're gonna be doing today is putting a long range fuel tank into it. So the Land Cruiser comes as standard with a bit over 120 liters um, fuel capacity, uh, diesel capacity, which to be honest, doesn't actually last very long when you're, um, uh, when you've got a big twin turbo V8. So we're only, we've only been getting about what, 800 Ks out of, a, out of a tank, out of about the 120 liter tank, which isn't really enough, especially when you're towing a lot um, and traveling long distances. So um, we ordered a Brown Davis uh, sub replacement tank, which basically means we're gonna take the smaller sub tank out of the back of the car. The rear wheel comes out and is obviously now sitting on the back of the car and the Brown Davis replacement tank gets slotted in. Um, that is going to ultimately give us over 270 litres of, uh, of carrying capacity uh, for fuel, which is heaps. Um, I think it's the most, the most you can actually get into the car now, um, but that should get us, yeah, we'll well and truly double the number of kilometres um, distance travelled. Um, bit of a rush to get it in. The car's off on a couple of adventures over the next few weeks, so it's pretty much straight down to uh, Dargo in the Victorian high country from Sydney. From there, it'll be up to Newcastle for a few days. Then it'll scoot up to Queensland. Then it'll be back down and head out to the um, central west of New South Wales for a week. So it's got a few kilometres to cover under its belt and we'd rather not have to stop and fuel up every um, couple of times a day kind of thing for it. So um, we'll go through this, we'll do the install. Um, it looks like it's pretty easy, easy standard stuff. So follow us as we, um, as we install this little baby. We're just gonna lift the car up first. What we're gonna do is actually get rid of the other tank first, the spare wheel and the, um, and the old tank, um, clean that area up, and then we'll focus on the new tank and actually doing the install. So let's get her up and get her underway. Righto guys, so underneath here, you can see we've got the um, we've got the car, we've got the chain here which was holding the spare wheel, um, it's not for other sources, so basically what will happen is this bracket that was supporting the spare wheel um, comes out, so it'll just unbolt out. Um, we're going to have to remove just the back part of the exhaust just for the time being, just for fitment to get that in place, to get the fuel tank in place and get the other one out, um, but that's easy, we can deal with that. Part of the reason we didn't actually go the twin, um, the side exit exhaust was, as you can see, um, there's not a lot of fitment issues. So if we had this running then parallel back across here and out here, um, then yeah, we'd have no chance of getting a big fuel tank in. So um, we'll rip that out, we'll rip this out. The sub tanks, this one just up here, um, we'll undo the straps, pull that out, get rid of any brackets or anything that are in the way. Um, we'll give it a good clean up while it's here, make sure everything's all um, sort of rust proofed and painted and all that sort of jazz while it's up on the hoist, we can have a look through everything. I'm just pulling out the fuel sender from the original tank. Uh, we'll give it a clean up and I think we've got to extend it or something is according to the instructions. We'll have a look at that and then we'll stick it in the new Brown Davis tank. So guys, the old brackets were up on here and as you can tell, like there's a little, already a bit of um, rubbing and rust forming or surface rust uh, on the chassis. This is over time what's gonna kill your chassis in terms of rust. So we'll give it a quick clean up, bit of metho, a uh, bit of paint um, just to clean it all up and then we'll whack the new brackets on. Uh, a thread sealant, basically high pressure thread sealant uh, for the gases and liquids and all that sort of stuff. So we're just gonna put a little bit of that on just to make sure it's all sealed up nice and tight. So we'll put all of these things in for the hoses to uh, clamp onto and get all of this connected up.
här då, då. So we've tried to follow the instructions, so we've pretty much worked it all out. Uh, we've taken most of the hoses off here. There's a couple of new hoses that we've put in place, but yeah, we've basically got breather hose, fast flow breather hose, um, fuel in hose, um, and then all the other um, ones for, you know, obviously how the tank feeds in through to the main tank. A um, Couple of brackets that we've already thrown onto the car, so we've had to replace some brackets. So come and show you what we've done here. Um, so got brackets either side, which is what the tank are gonna uh, bolt up to. Again, instructions weren't really much help. They got two pictures and it says fit tank brackets to chassis or vehicle. Um, there's actually um, uh, bolts you've got to put in place and locate and feed through, which is a bloody tight fit, but we've got it through and yeah. Anyway, it's all in now. It's gonna look good once it's done. Um, let's go and get the tank, get something to lift it up and, and put it in place. Well, at least the whole thing or the bracket? Nah, just a little bracket that's hanging off it. <laughs> it was yet re rewiring the putting lock tight on it. I don't really want the tank falling out somewhere between here and Perth. So she's in, a bit uh, empty at the moment, but we'll whack some fuel in there and it should be good soon. So bit of a bit of a um, fiddly one to get in. You've got to make sure the hoses are lined up the right way. We had to trim a few things and um, yeah, not, not as easy as the instructions say. So if you're planning on just getting it dropped home and installing it, well, prepare yourself for a few more hours than the three hours that they quote. But anyway, she's in. Um, I'll go and take out a mortgage now to go and fill her up. Fuel light will probably come straight on. 